A grave matter indeed. Perhaps our colleague forgot to emphasize how deeply we value our neutrality. A war with Jane Cassinder would risk the very life of our Republic. What do we gain by siding with the Legion? For 30 years, we've known nothing but civil war. Help us bring order to Ebb. We were one people, one nation. We can be so again. If Stonebridge takes the first step, the rest of the country will follow. People will remember that the rebirth of Ebb started here. A chance to redeem our city's name. An honorable course to take. Nonetheless, you can understand why some in the city might fear the Legion's return. Countless Legionnaires were murdered in our streets. People might think that you've come to seek revenge. Forget the past. Those murders are 30 years gone. We came here to reconcile, not for revenge. Words alone are unlikely to sway our good citizens. But perhaps if we form a committee, study the problem for several months or a year. Nonsense! The Legion is no threat. There's far more dangerous things in this city, if you would only open your eyes. Ah, our colleague again speaks of the dapper old gent, no doubt. Indeed, sir, I do. You think that the trouble in the Foundry is not the work of the gent? Wolf, you didn't say anything about the Foundry before. Bad business. The Foundry supplies power to all of Stonebridge, but now it's gone silent, and no one knows why. Uh, Meister Wolf, let us not turn aside from the matter at hand. We owe the Legion our vote. No, wait. That hardly seems fair. Force a vote now, and it will assuredly go against the Legion. I propose a recess. Let us each speak privately to the Legionnaires, so that we can reach an informed and impartial judgment. Sounds like a reasonable idea. We agree. Indeed, well spoken, Meister Mudgutter. Any objections? None? Council declares a recess. We shall reconvene after the Legion Envoy has spoken to each of my esteemed colleagues, and all are prepared to render a judgment. Hmm. Ah, so the Legion has come looking for my vote. These are perilous times. An entangling alliance is hardly prudent. But I forget my manners. I am Rorik Castle, City Meister and Factol of the Ironmongers. An alliance with the Legion would help protect Stonebridge. If times are as perilous as you say, then your city needs friends. If you wish to be of service, there is a certain problem that requires attention. The Foundry is presently overrun. It's the blasted Cyclopses. They were docile workers for years, but something in them snapped and they've brought the Foundry to a standstill. We'll take care of these Cyclopses, if you'll pledge your vote to the Legion. Fine, fine, it's a deal. Speak to my foreman, Mr. Snell, at the Foundry. He will explain our predicament in greater detail. Ah, uh, yes. I was wondering when you'd come and harass me. No doubt you're here to solicit my vote for your organization. You could at least offer me a proper introduction. Oh, yes. Trivialities. I'm Lord Barrister Mudgutter, Director of the Office of Contracts and Patents, Chief Magistrate of Stonebridge. And I have some other random titles with capital letters. I think I'm technically the High Marshal of Top Fermenting Beverages. Then I trust you're the goblin to talk to if I want the Meister's support. One of them, yes. I think you'll find that Wolf is very much smitten with the romantic notion of the Legion. The rest of us... need convincing. How can the Legion earn your vote? Well, you could help me alphabetize court documents. But a better use of your talents would be to help me with an investigation. Normally, I'd have Wolf handle the situation, but it happens to involve a sizable degree of danger, and Wolf is too important to risk. If this is the price for your support, I accept. Just tell me what you need. So, the matter at hand. We've had numerous reports of masked individuals hauling automatons into the crypts under the city. 
Whatever their aim, they are slowly eroding our defenses. And that is intolerable. Especially with Jane Cassinda and her army on the loose. If someone was to... Mm, enter the crypts and purge them of these criminals, I would owe that person a favor. Consider it done. We'll be back when we've dealt with these criminals. Well then, if you keep your word, I shall do the same and cast my vote in support of the Legion. Good day. More quests. Quests everywhere. Greetings, Legionnaire. If you've come to win my vote, don't bother. My mind is made up. Stonebridge will have no entangling alliances. So that's that. Now, if you need some little task to occupy your time, or if you have a question... Are you sure there's nothing we can do to win your vote? At the moment, no. But worry not, I'm sure the other Meisters will vote for you if you sate their self-interested needs. Now, I do have a task or two for you. It's not going to win over my vote, but I would find a way to repay your efforts. Long ago, the Legion served as the mediator of first and last resort. When an argument ran out of control, the Legion offered counsel. Is the court system of Stonebridge inadequate? For now, you will arbitrate civil matters that are beyond the purview of the courts. Mudgutter and his barristers will handle the criminals. Your first task is to handle a situation with a prisoner of ours, a Krug. He has no crimes charged against him, but his fate is disputed. Many argue he's safer in prison. Others want him free. He's here in the Meister Hall's jail. Make your inquiries there, then tell the automaton who presides over the jail what you've decided. <laughs> it's hardly dragon slaying, but if you're true to the Legion, you'll have time for small matters. Go on now, I've got work to do. Wow, so many quests. Ah, the envoy from the Legion. Is there something else you need? You were elected to lead the city? By a popular vote of almost 70%. Not counting the automatons, of course. Our mayor is elected from among the Meisters, the leading citizens of the town. It's a far better system than we used to have. We put an end to all that autocratic nonsense. What can we do to win your vote? An alliance will benefit us both. Hmm, there's that word again. Alliance. You won't think ill of me, I hope, if I express a certain degree of concern. But I shall respect the wishes of the other Meisters. If you can convince my colleagues to take your side, I shall... I won't take any more of your time. Good day. Indeed. And a good day to you as well. I'd like to speak to the Krug prisoner. Fiddlewick asked me to appraise the situation and determine the Krug's fate. Very well. It is Meister Fiddlewick's prerogative to entrust such decisions to strangers rather than automated constables with decades of experience. <laughs> Please note that the so Krug has been in prison for its own safety. It is highly unpopular with citizens, especially those who own pitchforks. Kerr. How did you wind up behind these bars? Kerr! Kerr! Can you understand what I'm saying? Kerr! Ah, <coughs> oh, yes. Sorry about that. I've been having a terrible bout of phlegm lately. Yes, I can understand you perfectly. Why wouldn't I? Just promise me you won't do that thing where you talk slower and louder. Kerr! <coughs> You're pretty well-spoken for a Krug. A Krug? Krrr! <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what people think I am. I'm human. Just some ill twist of fate made me hideous and homely. If you're not a Krug, why are you locked up? I'm tired of being harassed and assaulted. This time I decided I'd let them think I'm a monster and keep me locked up. Krrr! <laughs> I've thought about getting out of here, but I have nowhere to go. 
I'm content to just stay here and daydream. I have to decide whether you stay or go free. <laughs> well, I suppose I've committed no crime, unless being hideous is illegal. But if it's all the same to you, I'm safe here. Let them go on thinking I'm a Krug, it won't hurt my feelings. If you let me go, have someone escort me out of the city at least. Welcome to the Stonebrace Jail. Do you have business with the incarcerated? I've come to a decision on the Krug. I will enact whatever outcome you deem appropriate. Please enunciate carefully. He's no Krug. He's a human. He should be released and given the full rights and protections of a legal citizen. Very well. The Krug will be set loose and monitored for his protection. Until he has integrated with the city or been stoned to death by angry mobs. <laughs> they sure do throw rocks awful hard. I wasn't certain that the Legion had truly returned, but after witnessing your resolution of the plight of the oppressed Krug proletariat, it caused a great imbalance in my sanguine humors. Fairly had me bursting with them. <laughs> now then, we have much to accomplish. Shall we get started? Of course. The Legion has a sacred duty to help the people of Ebb. Ah, spoken like a true Legionnaire. <laughs> Finally, after all these years, I'm so excited I could use a preposition to end a sentence with. I am Reinhard Manx, scholar, inventor, and sartorial adventurer. I have degrees in advanced thaumaturgical studies and non-Goblinian geometry. Naturally, I also have a grounding in the classics, but more importantly to you, I am descended from the Grand Mage Merrick, a legionnaire through and through. That would make him Merrick's last descendant, then. In the old stories, Merrick was always more interested in making magic than, well, children. Well, needless to say, it's been my dream to reunite with other children of the Tenth Legion. Uh, second only to the dream of a thaumaturgical waistcoat that can change its color and cut to match the latest season. We need everyone in the Legion to join forces. Are you with us? Am I with you? Does the thaumaturgical constant Q trend towards infinity for given values of the human soul? What? The answer is yes, by the way. The Legion needs to stand together, lest we fade into memory. So without further ado, let's be off. I should thank you for resolving the matter of the Krug. Such a small issue, but it required an outside voice. Do you have another problem for me to mediate? Yes, I do. Baron 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 is a wealthy landowner with a claim to many parcels of land here in town. He wants to charge rent to Han. Hans has an equally compelling claim to the plot of land. Mudgutter informs me it's a case of eminent domain versus original acquisition. With the court deadlocked, both have agreed to let you settle their dispute. I'll have them meet you at the chapter house. That's cool, I guess. This is a lot of talking. It's kind of slow pace. Let's go to the court. The crypts. Let's go on to the crypt and kill some stuff. Not so fast, Legionnaire. None shall pass this gate without the express authorization of the- Meister Castle asked us to end the work stoppage in the foundry. 